Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Sunday, July the 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another exploration video. Today we're going to walk across the George Washington Bridge, walk down through the park onto Riverside Drive, and go exploring in the cave. And I'm willing to bet none of you guys have ever been inside the cave. But we're going there today, so let's get started right now. Walking up onto the bridge itself, today is the day before the July 4th holiday. So as you can see, a lot of people are out. On the walkway here, please pay attention and you'll notice there's netting on the right side and on top of me. That is to deter suicides. This is something that was just implemented a few years ago after Tyler Clemente jumped off the George Washington Bridge. This is a little guard tower by the New Jersey Tower, and it is not manned today. It used to be manned all the time, but they stopped staffing it a couple of years ago. This is what it looks like walking under the New Jersey Tower, or should I probably say walking through it? There is an elevator on the left-hand side where maintenance people go in here and actually rise to the top of the tower. Again, walking through the New Jersey Tower. Here you can see a lot of people are out walking today. You have to be careful when you're walking on this bridge because there's a lot of bicycle riders. And some of these guys ride way too fast. Traffic was light when I was heading over in the morning, but coming back, it was heavier. They're doing road work on the bridge. Quite a bit of road work, in fact. Here you can see deterioration, and that's actually a through hole on the pedestrian walkway. I have been informed that in a few months, less than a year, they're going to rebuild the walkway once again. There's a better look at it. It's concerning because they rebuilt this walkway in the late 80s. And I'm very surprised it deteriorated so quickly. See that? That's a through hole. Here, you can see the pavement on the bridge is not great either. Underneath that pothole, it's not a deep pothole, but underneath it, you can see that there's a steel plate. These are just annoyance potholes. But when you're paying $12 or more to cross the George Washington Bridge, I think they should keep this thing in better repair. Tractor trailers, I believe, have to pay over $100 to cross this bridge. Okay, continuing on. The sign says speed limit 15 miles an hour for the bicyclers, but like I said earlier, look out. This is overlooking Riverside Park. Now we're coming to the New York side of the bridge. You'll notice here there's actually a gate, bang, bang, that they close at nighttime so people cannot cross the bridge. I believe they lock it up at one o'clock in the morning. Notice the spiky fence so people don't climb over there. That's looking back towards New Jersey. Now we're on the New York side and we've come off the span itself. That's overlooking some of the New York City highways and the park of course is on your right. Again, this is the worst spot because it's the narrowest spot. And when there's bicyclists coming, you really have to hug the rail. Looking down here, the right side is the Henry Hudson Parkway North. In the middle is Riverside Drive heading north. And this is heading up here to 170, what is it, 179th Street. This is the ramp here to get on the Henry Hudson. 
This walkway underneath here goes underneath the highway. We've explored that in videos in the past years. But later in this video, I'm going to be coming down some unseen stairs here, and we're going to walk right underneath here is where the cave is, all right? It actually goes underneath the highway, and very few people know about it. Unfortunately, most of the people who know about it are bad people. This is overlooking the ramp to the Henry Hudson, Riverside Drive on your right. You can barely make this out. There's a gate here. And these stairs are closed and have been closed for many years. There's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, it's under construction. Number two, parts of the staircase have fallen through. Last year, I took you up. You can't see it with the foliage, but I took you up here. And like I said, we'll be coming down here, right here, later on. There's a closer look at the staircase that I told you about. This part has been repaired, as you can see. But you can also see how foliage is growing right through the staircase. Okay? I would love to take you here, as I have in the past, because that's where the mystery door is. And I'll have to wait for another exploration video to take you there. Here's your ramp getting onto the Henry Hudson Parkway. This is getting onto the bridge from the Henry Hudson Parkway. Get out of there. Okay, I'm walking off the George Washington Bridge, and right here is another gate that they lock at night. Okay, coming down. A story from a few years ago, about 15 years ago, I was walking in this very spot and a skater came by on my left at a very high rate of speed and he couldn't stop in time when he got here and he crashed right into this wall full speed. His bottle of water went flying off the viaduct and landed downstairs, but he's lucky he didn't fly off himself. It's a very tight curve, and you got to go slow going around there. Now we're coming down off the bridge structure. You can see all the litter underneath. Okay, there's another gate. They are serious. At 1 o'clock in the morning, they lock all these gates. They don't want anybody up there. Okay, this is a brand new pillar section because they're going to be building some new ramps like they're doing on the opposite side. I won't get into that today. That's for a future video. I came across this by accident. This 18-wheel tractor, the rig was parked here, and somehow I think somebody hit his saddlebags and he was leaking diesel fuel all over the place, creating quite a mess. But his bumper was also torn off. I think somebody hit him while he was parked. Now, I'm coming around the bend here, because this is the only way to access where I want to get to. This is Haven Street. I'm going to cross the street here to Haven Street, and I'm going to walk down a very, very desolate walkway. Haven Street, I'm going to walk through here and make this right and go down here. See? That's where I'm going. You guys who've seen my videos in the past may remember this location. I've taken you down here before, but it's the best way to get to where I have to go. And this is a closed off section that the miscreants cut through to get down. Now, this was built approximately, I'd say 1935, 1940. And nowadays, there's no reason to go down these stairs. That's a better look at them. See? I'm going to show you where they lead. All right, as soon as we get, we're going to traverse this, but I got to get up here to show you where they lead. Very intricate ironwork. The stairs lead here, right? Look, here's your stairs. Your fence is up here. Here's your stairs, and they lead here. Back in the old days, maybe 1940, I believe there might have been a bus stop here, or there, should I say. Of course, it's long gone. 
Now, as we walk, it's going to get more and more desolate. And I'm going to warn you right now, don't come here at night alone. And I don't think it's even that great to come here alone during the day. Because as great luck would have it, I ran in to two graffiti artists who didn't seem too happy that I was encroaching on their turf. Now look here. We're going to go closer to them. There are two guys setting up to paint their name and tag right here. At this point, they haven't spotted me, but they will, and they're going to react in a negative way. I took this picture as I passed them. This is the way we're heading. We're going to head down this path because I want to get down to Riverside Drive. There's an old obscure light pole with foliage growing over it. I mean, I don't know if this thing even works, but I don't think it's going to light up the place at night. Here is a homeless man with his encampment. We're going to be coming right down here past him in a couple of minutes. Okay, here is a curve that I find unbelievably photogenic. Okay, there's another nice light pole. I want you to notice how low the clearance is when we get to this. Okay, now I'm looking up. That's where I just came from, all right? The two graffiti guys are here and have taken off after me. Now, it's probably just a coincidence, but when we get to the base, I'm going to show you something else. Coming around the curve here, a lot of the railing is missing. I'm not sure why or if they cut it up just for the value of the metal. Look how low the clearance is here on the walkway. There's a better view of it. I don't know of any walkway in the city of New York that has a lower clearance than right here. It always amazes me. They, now we're standing directly under it here. All right? It's, it's close to me hitting my head. Continuing down. Coming to the man with the homeless encampment right here. I want you to notice we haven't passed a single soul so far. There he is. Continuing. The homeless guy nodded to me when I walked by him. He seemed to be a friendly sort, <clears throat> which is good, because sometimes they react in a very negative way. This is original, this poll. Totally original. This is original, too. That's where I just came from. And look, look who's here. Here come the two graffiti guys on my heels. Gee, I wonder what they want. Now I come down here. My original plan was to make the right and walk up the stairs I showed you earlier to the door to nowhere. But I realize if I make the right turn and my buddies behind me make the right turn, it's way too desolate and there could be a serious problem. So I realize they're forcing my hand. I have to make the left turn. Notice that this section a walkway has caved in, and that hole is quite deep. This whole area is caving in, and it's quite dangerous. So now I'm going to head down this way. That's where I just came from. Look, there's your graffiti guys. They made the right just like I figured they would. I didn't figure they'd follow me down to the left to Riverside Drive. There they are again. See that? They're heading up to the door to nowhere. I think they were going to graffiti that section. Now we're going to head to the cave. They put the concrete in so people don't drive cars in the way. People would drive cars in here, stolen cars. We're going in. And of course, the smell of urine has already hit me. You may remember last time I was in here, it was so full of debris 
and homeless encampment that I couldn't even walk from one side to the other. I had to enter from both sides a little bit at a time. So let's see how it goes today. Well, look at this. The city has cleaned out a good amount of the homeless encampment, but not all of it. Because as I said, the smell of urine was overwhelming. Here's the way it looks. I gotta be honest with you. This is the cleanest I have ever seen this in my entire life. I gotta give the city credit for this. They did a great job. If you guys go back about three or four years to my older videos that I did of this area, this whole section was impassable with homeless encampments and old bottles and cans and all kinds of detrius. But yeah, continuing on, you can see. Now you gotta remember, this area was built approximately the year 1940 and has seen no improvements whatsoever. So you're gonna see a lot of areas like this where the ground is caving in and going bad. But it's amazing the thought and ingenuity that was put into this design back in the day, because I do believe back in the 1940s that this was a common path that working people would use going maybe from a bus stop to wherever they had to go, maybe to Riverside Park. I want to ask you guys a question and be honest in your comments below. Have any of you ever been in here? Question number one and question number two, if you were in this area, would you even come in here? I love exploring myself. Now we're coming out onto the other side. This is the way out. This one had a more overgrowth than I thought. Instead of heading right out there, I, I hooked up to the left. See, there's a concrete barricade, so you can't drive cars in here. This is the way I got through. I had to climb through the foliage. See? Now this is me turning around. This is where I just came out of. So unless you really know the area, you wouldn't know that it's in here. And that's me getting back onto the bridge. This is the Fort Lee side. What happened is I wanted to make a video and I screwed up. There was a escort right here. You can just see the last truck right here. The fire trucks were escorting fireworks across the George Washington Bridge. And I thought that I, that I was filming it, but I really wasn't. So I totally screwed up. But that's what you get. Joe sometimes screws up. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. Thank you for watching this exploration video. Please give me your comments below. You have no idea how hard these things are to make and how long it takes. So please comment. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me what you didn't like. Tell me what you want to see in the future, and I'll try and get it done. Rock on and peace!